Hi, this is Aaron, and today we're going to take a look at the new iOS 4.2 update for your iPad and iPhone. This update brings some very significant changes to the iPad, not so much to the iPhone. It does change some things and adds printing and things like that. We'll get into that after, but it's mostly an update for the iPad. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So the first thing you may see here is Game Center. Now that's kind of like Apple's attempt at Xbox Live. While it's not quite the same, we can open it here, it's not quite the same. You've got this green background, there's my name on, on Xbox, and, uh, well, similar to Xbox, Big Z on Xbox, and Big Z243 on Apple's products. And it kind of shows the games that use Game Center. Now, Game Center really is a place where you can play people online, post stats, that sort of thing, find friends. That's really what it's used for. Now, the next thing that is huge, as you can see here, is folders. If I tap this, it opens, and you have folders. When you want to move something in or out of a folder, you tap and hold, and drag it out, put it where you want, and that's that. Now, if I want to create a folder, I simply drag one app on top of it. It will name it based on what it thinks it is, but we could change that by typing in here and selecting or, or typing the name that we really want. Let's move that back out, move that back into my magazines folder, and we hit the home button to stop the, the little jiggling there. As you can see, we've got I've got lots of folders on this screen, and I think that's a huge thing, at least for me that's a big thing that uh, I find very helpful. Instead of having page after page after page, I have two pages or three pages. So that's, a, that's one of the huge improvements. The next thing is multitasking. While this is not really true multitasking per se, it's more of a freeze type multitasking, uh, you could argue each way it does have it. And the way we access that is the applications that are already open, we double tap the home button and it pops up the app drawer and we can scroll through all the things we've had open and we can switch between them. So let's go to Game Center double tap, we'll go to Safari, you can see it swings out and around. Now that little swing animation here, I'll show you again, the little swing animation where it swings out and around is a little bit different and they've changed it on the iPhone as well. It used to just kind of swing back and around, now it kind of has a tilt to it as it goes through. Not a big deal, just a little touch they've added. And again we can go to uh, the App Store, same thing, and we'll go back home and tilt that this way to there we go now one of the things they have changed as well is on the top here on this side we have our uh, which is now a anti sound or I shouldn't say anti sound a vibrate on the phone or silence mute button on the iPad it used to be a, a button that would stop the iPad from rotating the screen now we double tap and we slide to the right and we have our iPod controls and our lock, rotation lock. Now it's locked. There is no other way to assign it to that button anymore, or that switch rather. It's now in here. We also have quick controls for brightness and for volume. We also have air tunes and our iPod control. There is no more slide any further left. It's all on one screen. Tap and it goes back double tap, slide again, and that's how we can lock or unlock our rotation. Pretty simple, and I think you'll get used to it if you're used to using the switch up here. Not a huge deal, but that is one of the changes to iOS 4.2. One of the other changes is AirPlay. Huge thing for me personally, and uh, I'll show you that right now. We'll go into videos. I'm not going to play the video because of copyright, but basically what it would allow you to do is play the video on an Apple TV. Unfortunately, I've not gotten that to work as far as video, but only sound. So let's go back out. You see that's Toy Story 3. We'll go back here. Came with my Blu-ray copy. It was pretty nice for my kids. I like it too, though. So here's the AirPlay button. 
and if we tap this, it says, where do you want to send the audio? You can see there's a little audio symbol there, so I can send it to the Apple TV. Now, any music I play in, I have a couple different bands here, if I were to play this song, it will actually play through my television or stereo that the Apple TV is connected to. So, a pretty nice feature, and you can see it's up here. Switch it back to the iPad, it'll play here. Switch it back to the Apple TV, it will play here. And we'll go back into, uh, you can kind of do that with some photos. Actually, those are some personal photos of my family, so we won't show you that. But uh, same idea, you can stream those. Now, one of the other nice things you can do is you can print. So we'll go into, this is my site. And here we have some options up at the top by pushing this button. And we have the option to print. We can select our printer. It's looking for printers. Now it should find, if it works properly, this is the first time I've tried the print feature, honestly. It doesn't find anything. It's networked through my uh, iMac at home, and I'm not sure what I do, need to do to set it up, but it does have the ability to print. I can print multiple copies, and it closed on me there. I can print multiple copies, and it's pretty much that simple. There's not a whole lot more to it, so I do have that option. There are multiple updates as far as fonts and other things. I'm just not going to get into it this time, uh, but there are so many updates. I think I've shown you the most significant, but let's switch over to the iPhone here. And again, they've made a couple changes. We double tap and go to our multitasking slide. We have our screen lock in there. If we slide one more time, we've got our volume slider and airplay. Uh, that's pretty much the most significant change that I've seen in here along with the printing. Uh, we can go into here for printing. Oh, whoops. That's not what I wanted to do. Darn it. Okay, so here's um, well, our options. I guess we don't have it in notes. <laughs> but uh, there should be the print option. I have seen it. Let's go to, um, well, we'll go to Zolotech. Let it load here. There we go. It's loading Zolotech, and we have our options down here to print. So they're down at the bottom. Uh, we can also search. One thing that's very cool, we go to Google Search, and we can search within the page. So if we type uh, LG, it'll say on this page. Let's see if I bring this in. You can see that. It says on this page. Come on, refocus. There we go. On this page, and if I scroll down, we can find LG on the page, and it highlights LG. Really nice feature, something I will be using quite a lot as I do a lot of searches on my website pages when I'm looking for something. So that's really the most significant updates other than AirPlay. Um, we can send this to the Apple TV again by hitting the AirPlay button. Other than that, there is not a whole lot more going on with this update. On the iPhone side, because we've been used to iPhone 4, or the iOS 4, rather, OS. Um, on the iPad, it's very significant, huge, that we can now multitask, we can now have folders, we can have AirPlay, we can print. And I think printing will, will help a lot with those going to college or wanting to use this to write with pages here. Very, very nice feature. So, uh, oh, one thing I, will, I left out is mailboxes. You can consolidate your mail now. Let's see if we can back out to inbox. Okay, so there's a couple of my inboxes. I have my Gmail and my at me account. So uh, we have those and it consolidates them to one inbox now. And that's one of the other updates. There's so many updates to iOS 4 and then 4.2 adds the uh, ability to print and a couple extra things. So I think it's really significant and uh, hopefully if you've got an iPad you're upgraded and same with your iPhone and it's really nice to be able to print once you can you know let it see it on the network there. This is Aaron. If you have any questions uh, please feel free to ask and uh, hopefully I answered most of them but uh, let me know what you think of the OS. Please continue to subscribe and comment. I really appreciate it. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.